But let's talk about Ohio for a little bit. Well, we all know that George Washington was the first president of the United States, but not actually was the first president of the United States. He was the first president of the United States under the United States Constitution, but there were other presidents before him. Actually, there were eight. There were presidents under the Articles of Confederation. The first president was from Maryland. His name was John Hanson. He established the great seal that we use today. The second president, I'm not going to try to pronounce these. I'm just going to spell it. E-L-I-A-S-B-O-U-D-I-N-O-T. He was from New Jersey. He was around when the Treaty of Paris was signed, which was 9-3-1783. The third president was Thomas Mifflin from Pennsylvania. He oversaw the ratification of the Treaty of Paris. The fourth president was Richard Henry Lee from Virginia. He was around when they did the incorporation of the Bill of Rights. Then they had John Hancock. You know, he has, he's famous for his signature. He's from Massachusetts. He ran against George Washington, actually, because he was hoping that he would become the vice president if George had won, which they didn't select him. And then the sixth one was Nathaniel Gorham. He was from Massachusetts. And the seventh president was Arthur St. Clair from Ohio. He left Congress after finishing his term. He received the appointment of governor of the Northwest Territory. He did a lot of face-offs with the Native Americans. And then the eighth president was Cypress Griffin from Virginia. He was the last president of the Articles of Confederation. He helped put the new judicial he put helped put the judicial system that's in effect today. And then we come to George Washington. He became the first president under the United States Constitution. Okay. So there is Ohio Company of Virginia, which a, which was a land speculation company organized for the settlement by Virginians of the Ohio country, which is what we call the present state of Ohio. And it was there to, it was there, it was established to trade with the Native Americans. Settlement by the Virginians and to trade with the Native Americans. The company had a land grant from Britain and the treaty with the Native Americans, but France also claimed the area and the conflict helped provoke the outbreak of the French and Indian War, which I don't believe was the French and Indian War. It was actually the French and British War, or English War. The Native Americans ended up being sided with taking sides, and for some reason they keep calling it the French and Indian War. But when you read more details, it's the French and British War or French and English War. So anyway, in 1748... Thomas Lee and Lawrence Washington, Augustine Washington, which there are two older brothers of, yes, the first president of the United States under the Constitution, George Washington's brother, they organized the Ohio Company to represent the prospecting and trading interest of Virginian investors for the Ohio Company.